October, a DNR conservation officer shot an elk in Rogers City. The DNR says he was responding to complaints of aggressive behavior and charging, but the elk, nicknamed Roger, had kind of become a fixture of the community, and now even lawmakers want accountability from the DNR. Up North Live's Daniel Zivian has followed the story to Rogers City, where he joins us now live. Daniel. Submitted for your approval is an eternal struggle, that between man and beast and the boundaries that should not be crossed. Mayor Scott McLennan says in his decade of public service, he hasn't seen an issue as divisive as the killing of Roger the Elk. McLennan says Roger first appeared for a month last year and was chased out of town, but he returned this fall. Word spread and people found him approachable. The wild elk became much more domesticated. He was not uh, afraid of humans. He had no fear whatsoever. Uh, in fact, he started following humans along the uh, bicycle trail that runs through the community. McLennan said the city police received several complaints, three separate charging incidents, and others of Roger walking right up to people. There was a conversation between the police department and the local DNR. Local DNR contacted uh, state DNR. You either allow the elk to stay and, and potentially gore someone, causing a, um, an injury uh, or, or worse, or you put it down. So it had gotten to that stage. Public outcry caught the attention of State Representative Cam Cavett, who wrote a letter asking the DNR to consider it an opportunity for education and take proactive steps to avoid tragic outcomes like this in the future. If you travel out west, if you've ever been to Jackson Hole or Estes Parks or one of the places, elk roam freely through their community. And the Department of Natural Resources over there has educated the public on how not to approach them, how to just let them go. Um, this elk had roamed 20 miles from its herd two seasons in a row to come to Rogers City. I also spoke with Candy Peltz, a resident who declined to speak on camera, but she said that Roger would go by her business often. She would even direct curious tourists to some of Roger's favorite hangout spots. And while she acknowledges that people going up to Roger and feeding him was part of the problem, she is incredulous that the DNR couldn't have moved him deeper into the woods. Live in Rogers City, Daniel Zivian, Up North Live News. In a statement, the DNR says that the meat will be sent to a food bank pending disease testing. You can read their full statement as well as Cavett's letter on our website, upnorthlive.com.